did Michael Jackson dress up as a clown when he cruised the Las Vegas Strip? It's one of many stories in a new book by Dr. Conrad Murray, Jackson's personal physician. This is a factual story. The book is called This Is It, yep, the same name as the tour Jackson was rehearsing for when he died. Murray claims that he was Jackson's best and only friend in those final months of his life. He says they would both wear disguises in Vegas, trying to pick up girls. I once wore scrubs and Michael walked with a limp pretending to be a stroke victim, he writes in the book. Another time, Michael dressed as a clown. He also says that he and the pop star partied with female escorts at a budget hotel in Vegas. He was interested in anorexia, he writes. He wanted women who looked like bones, very thin. Why would the most popular person in the world, the most famous pop star, need to go to such great lengths to get a date? It's not he was going out trying to date people that way. We were just being entertained, clean entertainment. Murray says, despite the rumors and accusations, he doesn't believe Jackson was a pedophile. I paid attention to Michael because I myself had a young child. It was important because Michael wanted my children and him and his children to play together, break bread together. It was important for me to know whether Michael was or was not a monster. Murray was convicted of manslaughter and served two years in jail, although to this day he maintains he did nothing wrong. He is still barred from practicing medicine and lives alone in a one-bedroom apartment near Fort Lauderdale. His book is self-published. You share some pretty graphic and personal information about Michael Jackson. Why would you feel the need to share this? Michael wanted me to go on the mountain and tell the story.